right, well, hey guys. Jax and I are here in Olympia at a buddy's house, my buddy Andrew, doing some stuff on the van just to kind of get her fixed up. We got the stud fixed on the front. So that was actually a really easy job. I'm glad I didn't pay 200 plus dollars at Les Schwab to have them put in a new uh, bolt. Andrew did it for much cheaper. So that's good. Also, going to be switching Jax's food here. So. Uh, this is what we went with, the Nulo Freestyle Indoor Formula. This is a uh, grain-free cat food. Um, really good cat food, not cheap, as in it's about four times the price of the equivalent of the Friskies. Uh, this kind of Friskies, which he loves. And you can see what this looks like instead. <laughs> but it's healthier, so... Today we're going to start him on it. What I'm going to do is basically uh, kind of ease it into his diet here, because I don't want him to have an upset st stomach. But we'll, I'll still be giving him his friskies at first here, here for about five, five days or seven days. And I'll be putting a quarter of the Nulo stuff in there. And then after a week, we'll, we'll go half and half probably. Uh, by the second week, probably go down to three quarters of the new low with still one quarter of his regular just to kind of wean him down and so he doesn't have any stomach problems or any other problems so see how it works hey guys good morning a little update for you brewing some coffee right now had the new alarm installed yesterday took them five hours and they had some bad news the bad news is they could not get all of my door contacts to work because I have an internal problem with the van so, um, anyway, I think they felt like they were just going to send me away with just a, a shock alarm, so. <laughs> Which I'm not really happy about, and I told them I'm not happy about it. But their supervisor there actually uh, had some different things to say. He said that he'll fix it, but there's just going to be more out-of-pocket expenses for me because they're going to have to rewire every single door trigger which uh, they charge $85 in labor, and he says he doesn't know how many hours that's gonna cost. So in the end, I think you can basically just double the entire cost of the alarm system in the van today when I go bring it back, which is kind of a pain, but it's nice to be here at Andrews where I can drop Jacks off in their house there so he's kinda got daycare and they can have their way with the van. So I'm just brewing up some coffee here before I, before I hit the road again and try this all again gonna be keeping a close eye on Jax up here because I didn't get a whole lot of good sleep last night listening to him puke all over the place and I mean I mixed his food right I did it one quarter the new stuff three quarters the old stuff I don't even know that has anything to do with it it could be the amount of grass that he ate yesterday or something else but I'm keeping a close eye on him I don't like being away from him but he's in good hands and feel bad that he's puking he's just not feeling good <laughs> so anyway that's my plan today just to sit there at car toys and wait for him to finish this alarm system what all right I'm back back from car toys for the third time I had good news though it's finally fixed and I'm gonna get to Jack's here in a minute but I had to keep him here so I just wanted to love on him when I got home yeah <laughs> no I know I know, I put you in a kennel, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the alarm system is now complete exactly how I wanted it. I'll show you what's going on. What they had to do was completely replace all of the door pins. Completely replace them and rewire them, which I was not excited about. But it's the only way they could actually make it work. Like I paid for it to have it worked. And of course they charged me some money to have the, the labor but no other parts so I'm happy with it now all right so what I didn't have yesterday was all the doors working the shock sensor still works so you turn it on set that there so that works turn it back on now all the doors the front doors the side door the back door and eventually even under the hood all those pins will set the alarm off too. 
just don't want it to go into full mode. So anyway, yeah, I'm happy with it. It was a lot of extra work. It was kind of stressful, but uh, car toys did end up making everything work for me in the end. And later on, I can even add power door locks for 100 a door, which would mean when I hit the button on this, my old 88 Ford van will have power door locks that'll open. I won't have to put them in the key anymore. But yeah, the other thing is um, I haven't switched Jackson's cat food yet. All I really did was I was like, well, he's puking up and I went to PetSmart and I talked to him about it and they were really cool. He took me down this aisle. They're like, they're, they're premier cat food, I guess you'd call it, is this stuff by Blue Wilderness. Obviously it's grain free again. This one is weight control and it's the smaller uh, two pound bag here. The reason why I'm gonna switch it and try this instead of the other stuff that I bought the other day is because they have a great warranty. They want you to, to pick the right food for your cat. So you open this up, you try it. If there's problems or if your cat doesn't like the taste, or if he starts puking again, even with just one quarter of it with his other food, you can bring it back, eat open, and you can swap it for a different flavor. And like I said, PetSmart has a whole aisle of this stuff. It's really healthy. They also have their same wet food that is also grain-free that I think I think he'll like. But we'll try it out. He doesn't like this flavor. We can try a couple different uh, flavors for him. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's spending a little bit more money on cat food, but I, I want to get his weight under control at least. Um, you know, so yeah, and that's not a plug for PetSmart or Blue Wilderness or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm, I'm trying some different stuff and I'm trying to trying to work on it. So I'll keep you guys posted here. You need some belly rub time. Belly rub times are good, huh? Oh yeah, they sure are. Oh yeah, it's a good belly rub and chin rubs. Oh yeah. You hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want to you want to try some some new food? Oh, okay. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, and then one last thing I almost forgot to mention. The other thing that Andrew helped me fix was the charge controlling stuff. Again, I'll just back up here. You can see it's cloudy, overcast. We haven't seen the sun in several, several days and there's no sun coming up. But if you look up here, I'm at 14.1 volts, bringing in 7.0 amps currently, right now. The cool part about it is, is I guess there's a whole menu system. There's a whole bunch of default settings from the factory that the charge controller inside will be set up to. And you really do need to look at the menu and pick the right battery. So I was selected on the wrong type of battery, as well as for some reason, the default setting was to charge 200 amp hours. So the brains of that are only charging 200 amp hours. I have 404 amp hours. So there's a way to go in there and tell it, I actually want you to be charging and giving me 400 amp hours. It's in like uh, increments of 10. So I think we're just at 400 right now, but that's a lot better than 200. I was only getting, I was only charging half my battery bank. So now I'm good, um, happy. I think it's gonna work a lot better and I'm not as pissed as I was the other day with the North. Oh, I was gonna feed the kitty? I know, I forgot. I was gonna feed the kitty. Yeah, we better feed the kitty.